So in this video I caught up with Eartha, a really bright girl who'd been struggling with the fundamentals of maths though for a long time and had been trying to keep it hidden out of fear of embarrassment of drawing attention to her weaknesses. Meanwhile, at the other end of the spectrum, her younger sister Miro was very mathematically gifted but was becoming very bored in class because her gifts simply weren't being nurtured and as a result, she's really starting to dislike maths completely. So after their mum Nicola approached us here at the top of the class for some assistance, we recommended one of our specialist train tutors called Mona Lee, who went in to teach the girls some skills to improve their emotional intelligence with some very impressive results. Now these strategies not only improved the girls' math skills, but most impressively, made massive differences in their confidence and improved their attitude towards schoolwork and learning in general. Now when I met up with the family in their home in Melbourne, I was particularly impressed with Nicola's attitude and thinking towards the girls' tuition, which I think every parent can learn an important lesson from. So this is Eartha and Miro's story. Someone said, are you a tiger mum getting a maths tutor for your kids? It's not a comparative thing. I don't care where they stand with other people. I care where they stand in their own skin. She's quite shy and so she was in a big classroom of 80 kids and was too afraid to ask questions. Everyone else could, know, could actually do it and I was like the only one who couldn't do it and I felt really bad about it. And then I'd just sit there for the whole lesson and then I wouldn't do anything. Because she is intelligent but she, and she felt if she would ask questions that she would be labelled as being stupid or silly. And then I'd spend the rest of the class worrying and not actually focusing. So instead of putting her hand up she was slipping through the cracks and she hid it from us too. Just, I wouldn't think about what I was going to do, I'd just panic if I found it really hard. The other daughter was at the other extreme. She was not happy at school. I was really stuck and I couldn't do anything. She's in grade one and she's now doing year three, four maths with the maths tutor. I learnt some more stuff and then I got better at school every time. Of not really being seen, essentially. Yeah, I searched around, I went to Kumon, oh, yeah. and that just seemed like hard work. <laughs> like, yeah, you know, I want them to know how to do maths, but I don't want to have pressure on them. It's really, for me, learning to do maths is so they can be free with it. Yeah. Um, so I didn't want to be like, oh, you've got to do 10 hours of maths now. So I went to Kumon and they had to go there every night or something. Three kids, yeah. two hands, it wasn't going to happen. So I investigated some others and then I looked at general tutors mm, and then I saw your website and I saw like the credentials that they came with and some testimonials and stuff and I just don't have time to make a bad choice mm -hmm. so I thought I'd give you guys a go. Emily would come to us yeah. which is kind of essential in a, in a hectic life and makes it really easy for the kids they don't feel like they're being dragged out to, d to learn something it's just a part of their life. So it was the ease, it was like, oh, this is going to be easy, it's not going to take any brain power for me, it's going to give to the kids, try it out, doesn't work, cool. There were no contracts, Kumon comes with contracts, and there was just, you know, it was like, try it on, if it works, it works, if it doesn't, it doesn't, and it did work, it worked straight away. If I, if I found something hard, I could just tell her and she would, um, or help me find out a way that I could do it. She wouldn't actually tell me the answer, but she could tell me a way that I could work it out and then I had to do it. She's been in contact with the teachers, so she works out wh what they're learning um, and then she explores that, then she takes it deeper and looks at it from different perspectives so that they really understand the concepts and can be flexible mm -hmm. with them. So it's fantastic. Well, I know I can figure it out now. Like. Even if it takes a while, I can still eventually figure it out now. It's a lot easier. Definitely a change in attitude. Like Miro is like a Viking for maths. She just wants more and more and more. She taught me confidence and then I learned how to do lots of maths. So now the teachers give her really tricky stuff and she comes home and does it with Mona Lee and just... <laughs> she just, yeah. Is expanding at a rapid rate so I've really seen that for her she's happy to go to school because she's actually got someone that sees and recognizes who she is well she just gives me easy, easy stuff and then she gives me harder stuff a bit harder stuff and then I just it makes it's just really easy and with the other daughter it's just a general confidence and self-esteem, like you can really see she's not, I think she just thought she was a bit useless because she couldn't do this. But actually she's really smart 
and Mona Lee makes a point of pointing out how smart she is that it's just a way of you just need to calm down stay clear and have strategies to problem solve and when Mona Lee came, Mona Lee came I like it improved so much and it really helped me with maths now whenever I see that we're having maths I actually get really excited and then that's really transferred into the rest of her life which is awesome so she's quite a lot calmer and not aggressive because she's not frustrated all the time because I guess she was permanently frustrated because she didn't know how to do stuff if it if it's a challenge I still find it in a way a bit easy like I can work it out now so I think that that money is just a great investment into their future yeah. now um, if it's hard I'll just um, I wouldn't panic I'll just stay calm and try to work it out use some techniques that Mona Lee taught me and I'll do it I'll be able to work it out. Now there are a few key points there that Nicola touched on which I think really hit the nail on the head when it comes to how to think about your child's tuition in a way to get the best results. And I'll explore that in more detail in the final video. For now the thing that I'd like you to note though is that sometimes it's the smart kids that hit the hurdles the hardest because it massively conflicts with their identity and can make them feel so vulnerable that they either cover it up or, like the student in the next video, just completely go into denial thinking that it doesn't matter now, but because they're smart, they'll figure it out later on. But the thing about learning maths particularly is that it's like building a brick wall. So even if one or two layers are missing, everything you try and build on top of that starts to crumble. And when a smart kid's grades start to crumble, so too does their confidence. And that's exactly what happened with Sophia, whose mum Jody I met up with at her home in Brisbane, who told me exactly how their top of the class tutor stopped Sophia's grades from crumbling and helped bring her back up to speed. See you in the next video.